Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to quickly show you how to import uh, your Excel spreadsheet contacts and companies into HubSpot really fast. So I'm guessing most people have like this CSV file, com comma separated value file where you've got a spreadsheet and it's first name, last name, company name, city and state, basic information. And then you've got some email and a website. You can do more. And I'll go deeper into other things if you want to import deals and you want to import um, notes or things like that. But this is really for the basic. You've got a you've got a basic spreadsheet of con contacts that you need to uh, import, right? So you need it to be first and last name. If you've got full name here, then you can highlight the field and split it out. I've got another video on how to do that quickly. But what you do is you highlight the field, go up here split it on delimited and split it on the space what that'll do is look for the first space after the first name and um and separate it out what it'll do is it'll put another column but as i say i'll put a link or just ask me in comments and i'll point you to that video um just separate out full name but for this video we've got a basic spreadsheet and we're going to dive in so i'm just going to save that so all i do is it go into contacts i go import I'm going to go uh, start an import from a file on my computer, uh, from one file. If you've got multiple, you can. We're going to do it off multiple objects. So if you're just importing contacts, click this. But if you're going to import contacts and companies, which is what we're going to do, we're going to click here. We're going to do contacts and companies, right? Next, we're going to highlight the file which is that CSV 200 or 500. Uh, if you've already exported from HubSpot and you're going to import from HubSpot, from a, from a HubSpot um, spreadsheet, they'll have object ID. We don't have this. But if you've got in your first column object ID and it's a HubSpot number, you can tick that. But for this case, we're not ticking it. Then it's going to go find all the information off that spreadsheet. So first name, last name is tagged to contact, contact first name, correct. Contact last name, company name. So we've got the building here. This is the company, um, the account name, account street, uh, account state. So we've got company. So the company information is all being tagged to the company. And then we'll look here. This You need to be careful on this one. If that first phone number is actually the contacts, then you need to change it. You might even want to make this contact before you upload and this one company phone. Um, so if that phone one is for the contact, then you need to go here and change it to the contact phone number, right? You have to untag the one below. You need to change these ones around, right? So let's do, I'll do it just to show what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. So these two are now untagged, but I'm gonna go, the first one's actually the contact phone number right phone number and the second one is here company phone company phone number so we switch them around now the the contact uh, icon is on the first phone number the company is on the second and the finally this doesn't because it said website if we put company properties and typed in website it'll say website URL and that's going to tag that we're going to click next I agree that all contacts in this import are expecting to hear from my organization. So you can't these days just upload a load of people's emails that haven't given you consent. You know, you'll, you'll get kicked off platforms like this if they find out you're spamming. So make sure, you know, I did this video because somebody who goes to conferences, takes people's business cards uh, at the stand and then they contact them. So these are actual people that are expecting to hear from us. We're gonna get a thousand new objects because um, because five of them will be contacts and 500 will be accounts. I've got an email, I may have changed one there actually. I've got an email here saying you know, we've imported a thousand. Uh, oh, there might be, 998 and new so maybe there was some information already still in there from when i was testing so now when i go to contacts contacts all the people in my list crystal samara 
information, phone number, email, website information and company is all there. So I've imported both contacts, 500, in fact, if you tick here, look, 500 and 500 companies. So you're all in and you're all ready to go. It's something you need to take time with because you want to make sure it's correct, but it is quite easy to do. Um, if you want to import deals with that, you can. You just have to make sure the deal names match up with uh, what you've already got set up in your system. Uh, you may want to put tags on it, say these people are owned by these per certain people in your company. I haven't got anybody else set up in mine, so it'll automatically go to mine. But I just thought that was a quick email, uh, sorry, quick video on how to import contacts to HubSpot. Hopefully it helps. I've got full free training on my website. Ask questions in the comments. Ask questions uh, in the training uh, lesson comments. And we'll get we'll get to you, you know, we'll get you sorted. No need to be stressed out or worried. All right. Cheers.